Remodel Cost Estimating for Excel Remodel Construction Cost Estimating Software Tutorial Starting Remodel Cost Estimator Program Start Remodel Cost Estimator Program by clicking on the Remodel Cost Estimator icon on the desktop. This will start your Microsoft Excel program and also the Remodel Cost Estimator. Right under the Excel ribbon you will see a warning some active content has been disabled. Click on the Enable Content button next to it. This way, the built-in programming will be enabled and functional. Note, for Office 2007 version of Excel, click on Options and then Enable Macros button. The Welcome screen will appear. Click on OK button or Continue Trial button if this is a trial edition. Also, close any other informational messages that may show. Now, you should see the Add-ins menu that has been attached to Excel menu. Click on the add-ins, then click on remodel costs. You will see the entire program menu of remodel cost estimator which you will use to build and manage estimates. Let's take a quick look at the menu groups. The first group of menu items is for the purpose of building and managing the estimate. The second group is for built-in reporting. Notice there are several summary and detail levels of one-click reports including price quotation and bill of material. If you are using a trial edition of Remodel Cost Estimator, the next group includes online purchase and registration menu and entering the authorization code that will switch the program to registered status. If already registered, you will not see these menus. The last group is for help system and step-by-step -step tutorial. Finally, About menu will display the welcome screen. Let me briefly go through the worksheets at the bottom of the screen. Estimate. This is the worksheet where Remodel Cost Estimator builds the cost estimate. When you start building a brand new estimate, this worksheet will be empty. If there are any entries from your previous work, you should clear entries using the Clear Estimate Worksheet on the Remodel Cost menu. Important note, Estimate Worksheet is protected. If you try to write in one of the cells, you will get a warning message. Everything you need to add on the Estimate Worksheet can be accomplished through using the Remodel Cost menu functions. Sheet protection allows for data entry error checks to maintain data integrity. So remember, no direct data entries are allowed on the estimate worksheet. Job info. This worksheet contains some Rolodex type reference info related to yourself and your customer. Fill out the green highlighted cell info, some of which will be used in the quotation report headers automatically. Quick help contains some basic help inf information at your fingertips. City. This worksheet contains several cities with associated material cost index for each. Simply click on your city or closest city and the program will remember and adjust material cost based on its index as estimate cost items are added into the estimate worksheet. Rates contains custom user entries for overhead, profit, sales tax, and also weight scales used. Be sure to review and make changes in the green cells before you start building the cost estimate. General to electrical. These are building uh, system-based construction divisions. Each worksheet contains cost data including cost code, description, unit and cost data for material, labor and other costs such as equipment. You can add or delete rows of items from these worksheets thereby customizing the data lists. 
just follow the same format as we provide that is one row per cost data quotes this worksheet contains some boilerplate statements such as terms and conditions that is used in the quotation reports one last point while you may use Excel's rename feature to rename the worksheet labels you may not add or delete a worksheet also you may not move the worksheets and disrupt their sequential order now having briefly introduced to you what each sec section of the program does let's now turn to how to actually build a cost estimate you build an estimate by adding cost items that cover the scope of work as an estimator you have resources such as notes plans sketches and material list that will guide you and help you determine cost items and take off quantities the fastest way of starting to build an estimate is by using the add standard cost items using lookup from the remodel cost menu when you click on it remodel cost will open the lookup window with divisions identified at the top you can click on any division and then click on select one or more cost item rows for inclusion in the estimate when you select several rows click on the finish button the cost items that you selected will be exported into the estimate worksheet Note that each row of cost items contains one as quantity. You have to visit each cost item row and edit and indicate the actual takeoff quantity. Let's do that for one of the cost items. Click the mouse anywhere on the row, then select Edit Cost Item from the Remodel Cost menu. The edit window will open if you know the quantity for that particular item then you simply enter it in the quantity field or you can use the takeoff calculator to figure out count length area volume and make some adjustments and transfer into the estimate let's cancel this for the moment by the way Remodel Cost Estimator works well with rolling takeoff devices such as ScaleMaster and ScaleX when they are attached to the computer. Rolling the device on the plan will calculate distances, et areas, etc. Note that when the quantity is changed, the cost category totals are accurately extended. You do not need to do any calculations yourself. You can add some memo notes if you wish. Click OK and Remodel Cost will update the estimate worksheet data with your takeoff quantity edits. At any time, you can repeatedly go back to adding items using Lookup and export more items from your data list right into your estimate. If you have a unique custom cost item that does not exist in the data list, you can use the Add Custom Cost Item from the Remodel Cost menu. This will open the same window, only the data fields will be blank. It's now up to you to define the custom cost item. When you click OK, it will also be transferred to the estimate worksheet. At times, you may want to delete a cost item that you have already entered. Just click on the row number column, then select Delete Cost Item from the Remodel Cost menu. Creating reports is simple. All Remodel Cost Estimator reports are tied to the Remodel Cost menu. and basically all you have to do is click and select the report that you want when you select the report the model cost will create it on screen as a separate Excel file
if you want to save the report simply use Excel save as function and rename and save it it's that simple you may create as many reports as you like during the course of an estimate some of which you may end up printing and saving you can always open the estimate over again and create even more reports some reports are suitable for in-house review and others are more suitable for submitting to customers it all depends on how much detailed information you want your customers to see that's up to you to decide one last thing on reports if you rename the company logo file as mylogo.jpg and place it in the installation folder of the program remodel cost estimator will place it on top of the quotation reports have a few useful tips when you want to start a new estimate first open remodel cost xls original master file then immediately rename it using excel save as function under a different name such as my XYZ estimate build your estimate on this newly opened job specific file and leave the master file intact another tip before you start building your cost estimate be sure to review and change if necessary the overhead profit wage rate and sales tax data rate uh, data information in the rates worksheet This is it for now. Happy estimating all.